Hiya, it's me again. I've just woken up, it's 6.30pm. It's Saturday. Obviously last night wasn't amazing. It was an okay night, so tonight I don't want to get too drunk. I want to pull. I want to find someone. I want to, I want to see what happens. I want, I, want, I, want to, I, want, I want to fuck around. Let's have some fun. So I wish me good luck. I'm starving, I haven't ate food in forever. I'm so hungry, I'm shaking, I'm that hungry. I'm prepared, I'm ready for tonight. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just letting you know that I'm, um, I've had a cocktail. <laughs> Okay, I know what you're all thinking. You're probably thinking I look like a fucking idiot. Um, I'm wearing the belt around the neck, not because I want to kill myself. No, um, because the microphone. So there's that. Uh, guys, I'm not joking you. It's 1.24 p.m. It's Sunday morning. I'm in Brighton. I'm meant to be staying here tonight, but I'm going home. I'm done. I'm quitting. Drinking, that is. I'm done. Um, I've just single handedly had the most scariest experience of my life ever. And I know people out there are going to think, here we go. This is some sort of attention to seek. I know it comes across that way, but it ain't that. For the first time in my life ever, in my life, I've never had this before ever, I had my first severe, severe anxiety attack. Even now, it's been about an hour since I calmed down. It went on from about 11.30 to about, yeah, I'd say about 12.30. It was horrible. It was like, the only way I can describe it is like I'm dying. Like, imagine you're dying. Imagine your whole body wants to die. That is how it felt. I've legit got soundproof, my soundproof headphones turned on so I can't hear anything right now. I need to listen just to nothing or classical music. I'm severely never again going to ever drink alcohol ever again in my life, ever again. I, for the first time ever, in six years, I cried. I was in bed holding that pillow, grabbing it tight, crying tears, like running down my face. I rang up my friend. This girl that I've been sleeping with, I rang her up. She's wonderful, she's calmed me down for an hour. I was holding the pillow, I was crying. No reason, just anxiety. Just anxiety, basically, it's like my whole body wanted to die. That's it, it's like, imagine this, imagine right now someone's got a gun to your head and they're telling you that you're going to die. You're going to die, and they're not joking, they're gonna kill you. That is how an anxiety attack feels. Your whole body, your whole brain, everything wants to fucking die. Everything feels like, it feels like you're going out. It feels like you're, you're actually dying. I, and I'm telling you now, right now guys, I am never, <coughs> ever drinking ever again in my life, ever. I'm not, I'm done, I'm out. I don't need alcohol. I don't need it, guys, I don't need it. I'd still go out, I, I, I drink mocktails. I'm not ever drinking alcohol ever again. And this isn't one of them things where people, you know, you fuck, you know, you get drunk and then you have a hangover, then the next day you always tell your friends, oh, I'm not getting drunk ever again. It's not that. And then a week later, you're back on the booze. It's not that. This is, uh, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I swear on my life, I'm not drinking ever again. I will not put my brain and body through that anxiety attack I just had. It was single-handedly the most scariest feeling in the world. I'm telling you now, I'm never drinking ever again. I'm, I will not go back to having that. I, my body's a temple. I love my body so much. I love my body and I love my brain. I will not put my body through that ever again in my life. Ever again. Guys, it was horrible. Horrible. What happened last night? Nothing bad happened last night. Let me, let me think. What, 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 what happened last night? Uh, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I woke up at 6 p.m. I went out. I went and had... Uh, I went to a steakhouse with some random guy that's really lovely who, who, who works here. He's, he's wonderful. We, we eat meat. We eat veg, salad, it's going great. I have one cocktail. I felt amazing, I felt fantastic. I then went to a bar called Revolutions. Guys, I don't wanna sound like an alcoholic, but I can't get drunk. I'm actually at a point where my body, like our body adapts to everything, right? My body is so beautiful at processing alcohol. I can't get, my liver 
kidneys, whatever. That whole thing processes alcohol so quickly. I can't get drunk. It legit is impossible for me to get drunk. Uh, guys, last night, I, you know, drink, shot. I always get shot by drink. Drink, shot. I'm feeling nothing. Shot, drink, shot, drink. Guys, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds. I can't, I drink other people's drinks. Beer, f fucking wine, gin, uh, whiskey, Malibu, De Serrano, Sambuca, Jagerbomb. I feel nothing. I actually feel nothing. I'm at a point where I can't get drunk. I, I can't. Um, I, 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 I want to be. I want to get to that level where I'm like, I'm drunk. Oh, I'm getting really drunk. I can't get it. I can never get across that line. Don't ask me how. I've become immune to become, getting drunk. I'm not joking. I'm not, I'm, that's not a joke. I'm dead serious. My body has become a alcohol pumping machine where any alcohol goes in, it, gets, it cleanses it straight away. I can't get drunk. My body is made to clear, clear out alcohol. I can't get drunk anymore. It's, it's impossible. So I'm in this bar. And guys, this is another thing I want to talk about women. Guys, I'm 29, right? Um, straight away, because I've had such amazing experiences going out and sleeping with loads of wonderful, beautiful women, like now, when I go out, guys, I'm 29. I'm not horny like a, a dog. I'm not like 18 or 19 or 20, I'm 29. So I'm calm, I'm collected. So when I've got all these women who are six, seven, eight out, they look like eight out of 10, seven out of 10, six out of 10, I'm not attracted to them. No, no, no. And they're all trying to look at me and smile and they're all doing this and I'm like, yep, I want the tens. I won't take anything less than a 10. That is how I aim. And if I don't get the 10, I'm upset. I feel let down, like, oh fuck, I had a shit night. I won't lie to you guys, last night was dog shit. The night before Friday, dog shit. Two nights in a row, dog shit, because my expectations are so high now, I can't legit enjoy myself. Do you understand? I've gone, I've gone from eating the best food in the world to now eating microwave meals. It sucks. And the only time I'm satisfied is when I'm eating that fucking exotic meal. I hate the microwave meals. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? I've actually got to a point where I fucked myself. I, I've actually screwed myself over. Because I've had the best, I can't now go back to having average or worse. So nights out, it takes a lot for me to have a good time. Guys, I've become immune to... Ugh, I've, I'm, 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 I'm basically fucked. My brain has fucked myself. I've, fucked, I've, I've basically fucked myself. Because I've had such an amazing time this summer. I've actually screwed myself over. Think about it. Um, I'm in this bar. I'm talking to every woman. Guys, I'm at a point where I can talk to any woman like that. Anyone like that. And I, I never get told fuck off. I never get told to go away. They all look at me. They all want to talk. Also, I, I, guys, I just be nice to them. I just be friendly. It's so easy. Um, I don't need alcohol. I don't need alcohol to, to talk to women. I could do it when I'm sober. It's very easy. Um, what I tell you, it ain't about the looks or the money. Women don't care about the money or the looks. Confidence, my friends, confidence. <coughs> I'm having about, I had about 10 rounds. I was talking to everyone. It was great. Um, I then go into the queue for the nightclub. As I'm queuing up for the nightclub, I'm carrying the crowd. It's a, a, a 90 minutes queue time. I'm carrying the whole crowd. Talk to everyone. I'm entertaining everyone. I'm, I'm, it's standard gross school. I then go into the nightclub and I meet two men, really nice. Let me tell you this right now. I'm in the dance floor. We're walking together. It's all going great. And this girl grabs me by the hand and she's all right. She's a seven out of 10, right? Grabs me by the hand. She tells me to pinky promise that she won't leave, that she, I won't leave her. So we pinky promise. Her name was Eva, you know, from that Wally movie, Eva. We're, we're cracking on, we get a drink together, we snog, we make out, I'm picking her up. Oh, whatever, I don't give a fuck, dude. We're having an amazing time. For about 40 minutes, we are like this, connected. And then all of a sudden, and this really pisses me off, her mate finds her, and she said to me, promise me you're not gonna leave me, promise me you're gonna stay with me all night. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Her mate comes along after fight, rediscovering her, after, like, because obviously they lost each other. Her mate pulls her away from me, right? With three other guys, they stand right there, and I'm like, okay, like, and dragged away. And so I go to say goodbye, because I, I, I get the hint, and she's like, can you fuck it, can you fuck, can you fuck off, can you leave us alone? I went, okay, uh, can I at least say goodbye? And she's like, no, you can't. I went, okay. So guys, I don't know what, that was the first time ever where I was like, this is a weird situation. Because her friend didn't want to be with them. She actually wanted to be a big, she made pinky promise. And we were just connected. 
and it was so good. But her friend, clearly, I hate people like that. I get it. She's trying to look after her friend, make sure she's safe. I'm a stranger, I get it. But like, in my brain, I know that that girl, she don't want her friend to have fun. She just wants her to have fun. So that pissed me off a bit. Um, I then meet, and guys, another thing, when I get drunk, I lose track of time. It, it sucks. I go out, it's 8 p.m. Now it's 6 a.m. What, where did 10 hours go? Like this, and it sucks. Um, and then what happened? We went into, and then we left at 4 a.m. because it closed, and then we found another nightclub to open till 7 a.m. I was drinking until 6 a.m. Yeah, so we go into this, we go into this club at, I don't know, six, I was there till 6 a.m. I came home, I fell asleep. I woke up at 11.30, guys. The worst anxiety attack of my life. All I wanted was my dog. I wanted to be in my bed and I wanted to cry. That's it. Um, and that is the truth. I am done. I'm out. I'm over it. I will never again. And I swear to you, I'm quitting drinking forever. I will not ever, ever. I might have been spiked. Now I look back here, I think I was spiked. What's a drug out there that makes you feel really good, but the next day it makes you feel really anxious and horrible. And like you feel like you're gonna die. Like it's not like a hangover, it's like I thought I was gonna die. Like I feel like my body's shutting down. That was how I felt. I'm only now feeling better because I've been drinking a lot of water. But guys, never again in my life ever again. Uh, that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching. I know I've been rambling, but guys, never again in my life. I've got some clips we can roll. Okay, I'm having a severe anxiety attack. It feels like I'm gonna die. That's it. it. Feels like I'm gonna die. It feels really bad. Like I can't breathe. I'm scared. And I feel like I'm gonna die. Like I'm not drinking ever again. I don't wanna cry. I feel like I'm dying. <clears throat> Um, yeah, never again in my life. Never again. I, I, never again. I, and the reason I recorded videos was so I could look back and remind myself to never drink ever again. I don't need alcohol. I don't need alcohol. And I'm too, my body loves me so much. I will never put my body through that ever again on my brain. Wow. What a fucking weekend. Never again. Guys, I'll see you on the next one.